Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast. And still dry here today, in spite of the fact that we did see a few stray showers around the region, and that resulted in more clouds, and our high wasn't as hot as it's been uh, the last seven days, as we only had 94 today. It's raining pretty good out here in uh, Duval County around Freer and uh, down towards Benavides and south on 16 there and on either side of it, uh, just south of Freer. That's moving your way. You folks in Freer are going to see a nice shower here before it dissipates this evening. 76 and 94, again, uh, our high brought down by the cloud cover, which has now left the area as far as the coast goes and the city, and 9.25 inches below normal on our rain. So stray showers through Friday. Saharan dust this weekend, isolated showers Sunday night late and into Monday. But again, not a big deal. We need widespread or likely rain, and those words are not in our forecast here at Chris 6. 91, a pretty good breeze at 20 miles an hour right now. We are down to 91 here, and everybody's below 100 degrees, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, where they've seen some rain, look at Hebronville, 82 degrees. That's what happens when you see some rain. Live next to the water in 88 in Port Aransas. That's the lower temperature along the coast. And the heat index value has been under control today. And right now it's just 100 here in Corpus Christi, which isn't bad, all things considered. Our hourly forecast, mid to upper 70s by morning. A southeast wind will be uh, light to moderately blowing and breezy tomorrow afternoon. Again, we'll mix in a stray shower here and uh, 93 mid-afternoon tomorrow. There's the moisture and you can see the cloud cover pushing inland. And uh, then there's a little bit left over out here in the Gulf. And then this is the area that's going to come in Sunday night and Monday. It's over in the eastern Gulf, moved along by high pressure that we talked about yesterday with the clockwise flow around that pushing off to the west. So the dry air has moved out of the region. That dome of high pressure is sitting over the Mississippi River Valley and uh, initially bringing in a few more straight isolated showers and then the Saharan dust for the weekend, which will put the kibosh on any rainfall. There's the moisture leaving, and then it comes back during the day tomorrow and tomorrow evening with a stray shower or two. A little bit more moisture here on Friday morning, and that leaves the area and very dry air moves into South Texas. As far as the breakdown of this, again, uh, straight isolated showers tomorrow and into Friday, but that's about it. Most of us will not I'm going to repeat this, will not get rainfall. And then we get to noon on Monday, and there's some showers along the coast. So hopefully we'll see some on the island and here in town on Monday uh, with this setup. As far as the rainfall amounts go, a little bit more uh, profound than what we showed you last night because of the Monday rain included in this. A couple areas may see a half inch, but as you see here, a lot of areas are going to get missed as high pressure is just looming up to the north. But again, far enough along that uh, it's not uh, blocking the Gulf of Mexico off totally, especially by the time we get to Monday. All right, the Saharan dust, there's a big pile of it out there in the eastern Atlantic, and that is suppressing all of the uh, activity in the tropics. There's our dust coming in this weekend, but leaving on uh, Sunday night and Monday just in time for a little bit more rainfall. 95, a stray shower tomorrow and also on Friday. Saharan dust and hotter over the weekend. Isolated showers Monday, taking it up slightly in coverage and then just plain old hot, humid and windy. We'll call it miserable Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We'll have more with Pat right after this.